Yeah. I'll take you on. Here goes. This'll hurt. Good luck. Give him your all. I'll dice you up. It should be safe for now. There were monsters right beneath my feet. I had no idea. Got the bracers to thank for that. They're usually good at keep. Contain. Certain arts will be more effective.
Looks like the gang's all here. Let's get to work. This will hurt. Keep it up. It's working. I'll dice you up. A chance. Pull out all the stops. Initializing drive. This thing's good shit, but it wears you out like nothing else. Real big upgrade between the 4th and 5th gen orbments right here. I can see why the army liked it so much. It was worth extorting it out of that corrupt general a while back. Hmm. But what am I gonna do now? No one's gonna find the goods now that I've got them well hidden. Now, I gotta settle between selling it to A for a fat stack, or taking it to some lab or a tech corp. That girl with Arkride seemed to know what it was worth, too. Huh. <laughs> Wouldn't mind having her work under me if it meant getting him out of the way. I might be able to tap more than extra Mira out of that di- Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't we? Huh? What are you doing here? So you came here after all. Not a bad hustle you got going on. You learned what those punks were up to, tipped off the cops, then snatched the case in the confusion so you could profit from the shadows. Wait, I hear you. I, I screwed up. I'll give you back what I stole. And Mira. And whatever dirt you want to know. I I'd never even think of picking a fight with all. Too late. You underestimated us, and for that, you will pay with fear. <laughs> What was that? Giacomo! Come on, but stay behind me. Okay. Shit might be hitting the fan soon. W what do you mean? Watch out for ranged attacks! There's so many of them! Look out! Got a whole slew of them! I'll dice you up! I have to do something! Grab the plank! White heel! 
I owe you one. <laughs> Here goes. Here goes. Let's keep moving ahead. Save it. He's dead. I can't believe it. I can see he tried to resist, but he couldn't stop his throat from being slit. Wasn't even the usual knife. More like a machete. And then his left hand is... What are you two doing down here? Uh, what in Adios' name? Whoa! Look at all that blood! <sighs> Shit. Ah, it would be the guy we were just about to ask to come in and talk to us. You look like you found yourself in the middle of a real mess here. I hope you're ready to come to the station. Crime scene secured at 1.10 p.m. Two important witnesses will volunteer themselves into custody and accompany us to the Sidon station.
Who do you think you're fooling, Arkwright? You think we'll believe it was just some coincidence that you were in the maintenance tunnel? That you were just taking that girl with you alone on some field trip? <laughs> Not a chance! I can see the rumors of how much a handful you are weren't overselling you. Your weapon might not have a blade, but I've never seen anything like it. And you've got a state-of-the-art orbment, too. You've been skirting the line of legality dangerously close these past few years. You do know we could come down on you if we wanted to, right? Took the words right out of my mouth. Really know how to throw people off. You're wasting your time with that one. I would be with the Central Intelligence Department, the group that asked for your help on this case. The name's Kincaid. I'm with the CID's Analytical Division. On its behalf, I thank you for your aid in locating Giacomo Conte. And I see your line caught a second fish as well. I'll be taking my leave now, sir. Understood. You know what needs doing next, and be sure to send your report to the chief. She said she was with the Central Intelligence Department. 
Looks that way. Seems real competent, too. And you're able to bark out orders to her just like that, huh? <laughs> Shows you've moved up in the world, Renee. Uh huh? Kincaid, not Renee. You know that. Though perhaps you need reminding after three years. <laughs> Hard to say if three years ago even counted as a proper hello. You're still on the ball as ever, you spectacled sadist. Same to you, Spriggan. Still working from the shadows and relying on old-fashioned stubbornness and trickery to get the job done, I see. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> um... The CID is currently hot on the trail of the duo who murdered Giacomo Conte. We found trace evidence of them at the scene. Oh! Uh, knew you wouldn't waste time. I know your nose and circle of suspicious contacts are not to be underestimated. I won't be getting in the way of whatever you and your friend are working on. If you hear anything interesting, however, you'll give me a call. You owe it to me after bailing you out. Contact information exchanged. I don't believe I've heard that hollow before. By the way, have you told her you're back yet? <sighs> well, that answers that. <laughs> Will you ever grow up? Take care, then. You as well, young lady. Uh, thank you. of your time you just came out of the police station didn't you I'm hearing there was just a murder was that why you were in there I'm Mario M.A. the newest reporter with the Tyro Times I only just joined the paper's local news division and happened to hear what was going on from a source of mine you wouldn't happen to have anything to add about the murder, would you? I'll take anything. Really? Thank you so much. Just you wait, Dingle. I'll get one over you this time. Having a rough day? <laughs> sure. I'll get it done.
this place so soon. Well, hello again, handsome. I've been waiting for you. I figured you'd show up early enough. I suppose the girl next to you is your client. She suits that uniform to a T. My name's Bermati, sweetheart. I'm the owner and bartender of this fine establishment. Van and I have a very special relationship.
Here are all the bases he used for the past few years, complete with security locks. <laughs> oh, and just to add, there's been no sign of any Jaeger cores in the move as of yesterday. Well, be seeing you. You must have amassed quite a collection by now. Uh... Oh! Oh! I'd heard you were a regular at this establishment. But I wasn't expecting to run into you just as it was opening. <laughs> that makes two of us. First Renee, then you. Hell of a day for me. You've certainly spent a lot of it skulking around. Up to no good, I assume. I imagine it was half your own fault that you got hauled off to the police station. Wish I could argue otherwise. Should have known it wouldn't take long for you to hear about what happened and come running. Of course. I've paid a visit to the scene of the crime as well. Giacomo was hardly a pleasant person. But he was a decent informant to use when work called for one. I hope you know that the detectives at the station and that reporter are very displeased with you, by the way. Your love of causing trouble for everyone and taking advantage of it to further your own goals has never been a bright spot for you. Don't got a clue what you're talking about. Damn, this is awkward. I can't believe it. Forgive me. My name is Elaine. I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation. Oh, not at all. I think we have much to discuss. But we're also both busy, so that can wait for another time. Whoever can solve this case first, the CID, the police, the guild, wins the prize lying in wait. That also goes for our presumed suspects. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Be careful not to get too involved here, Van. I'm almost certain that the two people who killed Giacomo were from A. Thinking the same, but I'll chalk myself up to owing you one for telling me.
The next stop will be in the cathedral in Edith Feast District. Those traveling to the cathedral or Aramis Academy. We are now arriving at the cathedral. The doors on the left side will open. I thought I told you to get off at the next stop. You'll have to forgive me for being selfish. But you have to understand just how much that memento means to me. It's something that connects me not just to my great-grandfather, but my mother and grandmother, too. And that's not the only reason I want to see this through now. A man is dead. I know you don't like the idea, but... But I feel like I have to be a part of this. Whatever may come to happen. I'll do everything I can to ensure my own safety. And I'll do everything you ask in the field. So please... Won't you let me come with you? Huh. Oh, fine. You're the client. I can see you at least know your way around that staff and arts. <sighs> but you're gonna have to do everything to keep yourself safe. And if I give you an order, you follow it. If you fail to do that, I terminate our contract then and there. We clear? Absolutely. Thank you. We are now arriving at Edith Central Station, those transferring to the Transcontinental Railroad. Very good evening to you, Edith. It is now 6.45 p.m., which means it's time for today's evening news. President Graham Hart held a press briefing at the Presidential Building in Vontai at 3 p.m. today. He discussed this year's ending of the reparations from Erebonia and with it, the impact it will have on Calvert's future. It has been two years since the Erebonian Empire launched an unprovoked war of aggression against us. A vile act we were generous enough to forgive. The price it paid in the form of reparations was steep, but every last mirror was, in my strong opinion, justified. I believe its actions, its atrocities, the past several centuries are behind it. 
I warmly welcome it back to the international community with open arms, promoting an era of peace between us, even when it comes to Crossbell State. With reparations due to come to an end this year, some have raised concerns that an economic recession is on the horizon. Those fears are unfounded. We have used these past two years to transform our economy, to bolster our capital, to better our technology. No nation has surpassed what we have accomplished because no nation can. We cannot take our supremacy for granted. I have every intention of taking this power and using it to lead our great world as a whole to a more glorious, prosperous future.